Hello everyone. Uh, this lecture series will take care of the solutions to problems on complainer persistence. So the principles were already discussed in the preceding lecture series and this is devoted for problem solving. So here we go. So example 13.1, the boat is to be pulled onto the shore using two ropes. If the resultant force R1 of magnitude 100 newtons and is directed along the keel 1-1 as shown in the figure, determine the magnitude of the force F and Q acting in each rope and the angle beta of Q so that the magnitude of Q is a minimum. The value of alpha is 30 degrees. So we are given that figure. Take note that the resultant R sub 1 is directed along the keel 1 plus 1. So first, let's set up the relationship by summing up forces uh, horizontal or along the keel. Summation forces x0 equals Rx, R1, and it is equal to Q cosine of beta plus f cosine of alpha. Then take note that R1 is given, alpha is also given. So we have three unknowns, three variables in this equation. Then likewise, summation forces y equals zero. So q sine beta equals f sine alpha. So therefore, f is sub q sine beta over sine of alpha. Let's substitute this into the this equation here. So Q cosine beta plus Q sine beta over sine alpha times cosine alpha equals R1. So simplifying sin, cosine over sine alpha is cotangent. So Q cosine beta plus Q cotangent alpha sine beta equals R1. So remember that alpha is constant or given. So next we differentiate Q with respect to beta. So we have Q times negative sine beta plus cosine beta times Q prime or derivative of Q with respect to beta plus this one is Q cotangent alpha, the first factor. Then derivative of sine beta is cosine of beta plus sine of beta, the derivative of Q cotangent alpha, knowing that cotangent alpha is constant, is Q prime cotangent alpha equals zero. So to minimize Q, so we need to set Q prime or derivative of Q with respect to beta 0. So we have Q times negative sine of beta, then plus Q cotangent alpha cosine beta equals 0. So re rearranging, we have Q times negative sine beta or Q cotangent alpha cos sine of beta transpose these two rights of Q sine beta. Cancel out Q, then we'll have cotangent alpha equals tangent of beta. So since cotangent of alpha is the same as cotangent, is the same as tangent of 90 degrees minus alpha, so tangent of 90 degrees minus alpha equals tangent of beta, and equating the angles, because we have the same function tangent, so 90 degrees minus alpha equals beta, so alpha plus beta equals 90 degrees. So therefore, the, this is the relationship for angles alpha and beta in order to minimize Q. Since alpha is given, so 30 degrees plus beta equals 90 degrees. So that means beta is equal to 60 degrees. So having found beta equals 60 degrees, let's substitute it into this equation here. And take note that F is Q sine beta over sine alpha. So Q cosine of 60 degrees plus F cosine of 30 degrees equals R1, which is 100 from this equation here. And we replace F by Q sine 60 over sine 30 and times cosine of 30. So Q sine 60 over sine 30 times cosine of 30 equals 100. So leaving the only unknown in this equation, Q. So we can now compute Q equals 50 newtons. Likewise, F can now be solved. It is from this equation here. 50 sine of 60 divided by sine of 30 degrees. So F is equal to 
86.6 newtons. So that's it. So okay for problem 13.2, example 13.2, to move the rectangular puntun, the resultant of the of the three forces shown below must have a magnitude of 500 newtons. So determine the magnitude of the least force F that would cause the puntun to move. So these are the three forces. So let's find the magnitude of the least force F that would cause the puntun to move. So least force, so meaning to say we have to minimize F. But the idea is for F to be minimum, the resultant of the given two forces should be in the direction of F so that F will be helped by that uh, direction of resultant force. So that is minimum of F. But we have to prove or show that the direction of F should also be the direction of the given, of the resultant of the given two forces. So let's generalize the situation. So let, let us say this is the line of action of the resultant of these two given forces. So F cosine of alpha equals the component of F along R1. So R1 is the resultant of the two given forces. So F times negative, so we differentiate F cosine alpha, F times negative sine of alpha plus Cosine alpha derivative of f, let's just call it f prime equals zero. So to to minimize f, then we have to set f prime equals zero. So by the way, alpha is the angle between f and the resultant of the two forces, the given forces. So we set f prime zero, so that means f times negative sine alpha equals zero, or simply f sine alpha equals zero. But f should not be zero, so that means alpha should be zero. So this gives us the idea that if alpha is zero, so the direction of f and the direction of r1 must be in the same direction, or they must coincide. So alpha is zero. So that proves that for minimum value of F, it should be in the direction of the resultant of these two forces. So we can compute the resultant by computing the components of the resultant of these two forces. So R1x is equal to 300 cosine of 25 degrees. So R1x is equal to 300 cosine of 25 degrees, so 271.9, while R1y is 250 minus 300 sine of 25. So upward minus downward components. So from there, we can compute the direction of R1, which is also the direction of F, and we can also compute the magnitude of R1. So if that's R1, and that's theta 1, that's also equal to theta f. So r1 plus f is equal to the resultant, which is 500. So let's solve for the magnitude of r1, which is square root of 271.9 square plus 123.2 square. Then plus the magnitude of f equals 0. So this is now the minimum magnitude of f. F is 500 minus the magnitude of R1. So 201.5 newtons. So that's the answer to this problem. So example 13.3. From the given set of forces shown, which of the following gives the magnitude of the resultant force of the system, the angle that the resultant force makes with the horizontal measured counterclockwise, distance of the line of action of the resultant force from the origin and the distance from the origin where the resultant intersects the x-axis. So here is the given figure. So first, let's compute for the component 
uh, the reaction components. So Rx is 42 cosine 33 minus 28 cosine 40 plus 34 cosine 10. So Rx is equal to uh, 47.26 rightward. Then Ry is equal to 42 sine 33 plus 28 sine 40 minus 34 sine 10 plus 26. So Ry is equal to 60.27 newtons and it is positive so it's upward. So the direction of the resultant is up to the right. So the magnitude of R is square root of 47.26 squared plus 60.97 squared. So the magnitude of the resultant is equal to 77.40 newtons. Then for the angle that the resultant force makes with the horizontal measured counterclockwise, it is simply R tan of Ry over Rx because both of the, the components are positive. So theta x is equal to 52.22 degrees. Then for the distance of the line of action of the resultant force from the origin, let's compute for a moment about O first. For the 42 Newton force, the horizontal passes through O, so only the vertical component has moment about O. If it is counterclockwise, let's consider counterclockwise positive. So 42 sine 33 times 5 meters, then the horizontal component of 28 has moment counterclockwise, the vertical passes through O, so only the horizontal component has moment. 28 cosine 40 times 4. Then minus 34 cosine 10, the horizontal component of this times 1. Then plus 26 times 3. Then plus 125. So MO is equal to 369.69 newton meter counterclockwise. Knowing the moment about O, then we can compute the distance of the line of action of the resultant force from the origin. So imagine this is the resultant and these are the components of the resultant. So the line of action of the resultant is extended, then this is the perpendicular distance of the this perpendicular distance of the extension of the line of action of the resultant force from the origin. And that is that resultant produces counterclockwise moment just like moment about O. So the magnitude of R times D O equals 369.5. 69. So 369.69 equals R times DO. So DO therefore is 4.792 meters. Then let's solve for A. So the resultant and its components are moved to its line of action on the x-axis so that we can compute this x-intercept. The horizontal component passes to O, so it has no moment, only the vertical component. So 60.97 times A is equated to 369.69. So A is equal to 6.063 meters. Another way of computing A is because theta x is known, and another way to solve for D or rather is A sine of theta x. So A sine 32.22 equals D sub O. Then solving for A, it is equal to 6.063 meters, which is the same as that. So that's the solution to this problem. Have the solution to example 13.4. For the system shown below, we determine the following. Number letter A, the force couple system at O. The x-intercept of the resultant force R. The distance of R from the point A, 4, 3 meters the force couple system at B. So there are a lot of requirements for this problem, so expect a longer solution. So for the force couple system at O, so let's compute for the force by computing the X component and then the Y component. For the X component, we have 150 Rx 150 cosine 30 minus 260 times 5 over 13, because it's 13. So it is equal to 29.9. For Ry, it is negative 150 sine of 30, then plus 260 times 12 over 13 plus 200. So it is equal to 365 newtons. Then we can now compute, we, we can now express the force in vector form, the better. Then for the moment about O, let's consider counterclockwise positive. So this is the resultant in vector form. 
to 29.9 I plus 65 K Newtons. Then for the moment about O, C sub O R equals 150 cosine 30 times 4, the vertical component as the moment. Then plus 260 times 5 over 13 times 2, because this is 3 comma 2. The vertical component is also counterclockwise about O, so plus 260 times 12 over 13 times 3. Then minus 200 times 4, then plus 300. So that's the uh, moment or the resultant couple about the origin. So the result is positive 939.62 newton meter counterclockwise. Then, therefore, the force couple system is R equals 29.9 I plus T65 K newtons, and we have this couple here. For letter B, the x-intercept of R, so if R is moved along its line of action at, on the x-axis, so only the y component has moment about O, and the moment is counterclockwise, so it should be right of O. So 365 times the x-intercept A is equated to the moment about the origin, which is 939.62. So 365 times A equals 939.62. So A is 2.574 meters. So that's the intercept, X intercept of R. Then let us see the distance of R from 4, 3. So 4, 3 somewhere here. Then let's locate the position of the resultant on the x-axis, these are the components, and we have 4, 4, we have point A at 4, 3, so this is the line of action of R, which can be computed by R tan of Ry over Rx, then the distance, because the x-intercept is known, we can compute the distance from this point to point A, call that distance Bx sub A, then we have here the because the moment of the resultant about A in this figure is clockwise. So this is the angle that the line of action of R from the x axis makes, call that theta x, and the angle that the line segment from the x axis to point A call that theta 1 and the angle between this angle here, this small angle here, we'll call that theta 2. So that if we know theta 2, then we can compute the perpendicular distance of the line of action of R from point A. So theta 2 is theta x minus theta 1. So that's the perpendicular distance of the line of action of the force from point A. Since this is 2.574, then the horizontal distance between this point of intersection with the x-axis of the resultant and A is 4 minus 2.574. The vertical distance is 3. So, scopole at A is 150 cosine of 30 degrees times 7. So, this time we have uh, counterclockwise positive. Our convention so the horizontal component 150 cosine 30 the vertical the perpendicular distance is 3 plus 4 so 7 the vertical component which is downward is also counterclockwise so it is 150 sine 50 the distance is 4 because that's 4 comma 3 the vertical component is along the y-axis then the horizontal component of 260 is clockwise, so it's minus 260 times 5 over 13, then their vertical distance is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1. Then the vertical component is also minus clockwise, so 260 times 12 over 13, the moment arm, the horizontal distance is 1, 4 minus 3 is 1. Then we have minus 200 clockwise 200 times 4 plus 4 so 8 then finally 
plus the counterclockwise couple which is even which can be moved anywhere on the plane is 300 so solving for the resultant couple at a it is negative 430.67 newton meter so our assumption is counterclockwise positive since this is negative so it is clockwise so it is natural that the line of action of the resultant should be to the left of point a so that its moment about a would be count with the clockwise as shown in the figure so the magnitude of r is square root of x r x squared plus r y squared so r is 366.22 newtons so then r times perpendicular distance equals 430.67 so magnitude of reaction resultant times d sub a equals moment about a to 430.67 so from there we can solve d sub a 1.176 meters Another method is using trigonometry. So from the figure, theta x is r tan of r y over r x, 365 over 29.9. So theta x is 85.8317, 85.317 degrees. Then r tan of theta 1 equals y, 3, divided by quantity 4 minus 2.25, 2.574 so tangent theta 1 is 3 vertical over this horizontal distance which is 4 coordinate of A x coordinate minus 2.574 the x intercept so theta 1 is 64.577 degrees therefore theta 2 is equal to 85.317 minus 64.577 so solving for theta 2 it is equal to 20.74 degrees. So having found theta 2, we compute distance from A to this x intercept, and that distance is square root of quantity 4 minus 2.574 squared plus 3 squared. So that distance is 3.322 meters. So imagine that we have a right triangle. Uh, the hypotenuse is from this point to point A. So theta 2 is given. So dA is is 3.322 then sine of theta 2. So 3.322 sine of theta 2, theta 2 is 20.74. So solving for dA, it should give us the same value of 1.176. Then another method, uh, distance from a point to a line from an algum. So we will consider the line of action of R as the line. And the point is 4, 3. The distance formula is absolute value of AX1 plus BY1 plus C over square root of A squared plus B squared. Where X1 and Y1 or XA and YA coordinates of point A. Then the equation of the line can be derived by 2.4. Y minus 0 because this is 0 equals slope of the line. Slope of this line of action of R is ry over rx times x minus the x coordinate of this point of intersection with the x axis is 2.574 so if we simplify that that's uh, 365 over 29.9 is 12.27 x then transpose y to the right so minus y then 365 over 29.9 times negative 2.574 is negative 31.422 equals 0 so substitute into the formula a is 12.207 x is 4 minus 1 then y is 3 minus 31.422 absolute value divided by square root of 12.207 square plus 1 square or negative 1 square that's the same so solving for da it is 1.176 meters also using an answer then next is the uh, for scopal system at B. So let's locate B. So for easy calculations, we just use the resultant because the moment of the resultant about B is the same. So the force is the same. 29.9 I plus 365 J. Then the resultant couple about B is 150 using the original 150 cosine of 30 counterclockwise times 
4. Uh, times 9, sorry, the horizontal is 4 plus 5, so it's 9. Then the vertical component is counterclockwise, 150, clockwise, clockwise, so minus 150 going downward. Sine of 30 times moment on 2. Then the horizontal component of 260 is clockwise, so minus 260 times 5 over 13. The distance is 5 minus 2, so times 3. The vertical component is counterclockwise, so plus 260 times 12 over 13. The moment arm is 3 plus 2, so 5. Then minus 200, the moment arm is 2, because negative 2 minus negative 4 is 2, then plus 300. So solving for that resultant couple, about B is 29.9. This is the other way, using the resultant of the previous, so 29.9 times 5 plus 365 times uh, 2 plus 2.254. So the resultant couple is equal to 1819 Newton meter counterclockwise. So if you evaluate this, that should also be 1819 Newton meter counterclockwise. So the force is the same. Uh, 29.9i plus 365k. So this is the force couple system with the force applied at B. At B. Example 13.5. For the system of forces and couples shown below, determine the force couple system with the force acting at O. That letter B at E at negative 3, comma 4. Letter C, the x-intercept of the single force that is equivalent to the given system. So this is the original system. And take note that we have a couple here, uh, 600. These two forces are also a couple. So let's eliminate them and replace them with a couple. The equivalent couple is clockwise, and it is AP times uh, 5 plus 3, so 80 times 8, because that is 5, and this is 3, so 80 times 8. So we remove 80, 80, and replace them with a clockwise couple of 80 times 8, which is 640 newton meter. So let's solve for Rx. So Rx is 300 cosine of 20 minus 125 times 3 over 5. So that's Rx. 300 cosine of 20 minus 125 times 3 over 5. So it is equal to 206.9 newtons. So right word. Ry on the other hand is 300 sine of 20 plus 125 times 4 over 5. So those are the components. 300 sine of 20 plus 125 times 4 over 5. 4 vertical then distance 5. So 202.6 newtons upward. So the resultant is up to the right. Then let's compute for the moment of the components about O. And let's consider counterclockwise as positive. So 300 cosine of 20 times 4. Because that's 4. Then the vertical component is clockwise. So minus 300 sine of 20 times 2. Then for this component here, we have counterclockwise, the horizontal, plus 125 times 3 over 5 times 3. The horizontal component, the moment arm is 5, sorry. Then for the vertical component, it's also counterclockwise, so 125 times 4 over 5. The moment arm is 3, the distance of A from O horizontally is 3. Then minus... 600, this clockwise moment, then minus 640. So computing for C sub OR, or the moment about O, it is 357.4 newton meter counterclockwise. So the result is counterclockwise. So for letter B, now we compute for the first couple system at E, which is at negative 3 comma 4. So the magnitude of R is square root of Rx squared plus Ry squared is 289.9 directed at R tan of theta x Ry over Rx. So 
inverse tangent of 202.6 over 206.9 is 44.4 degrees. And the couple is 354, 57.4 newton meter counterclockwise. So there's no need to indicate because that is positive counterclockwise. Or in vector form, this is the resultant 206.9 i plus 202.6 j newtons. Then uh, resultant couple is 357.4 since that is counterclockwise. So a or moment about. Uh, the Z axis or A direction, positive A direction. Then at E, uh, if this is the system, let's use this to easily compute the, give the force couple system at E. So the moment of the horizontal component of the resultant is 206.9 times 4 counterclockwise plus 202.6 times 3 counterclockwise. Then plus 357.4 newton meter. So resultant couple about E is equal to 1793 newton meter counterclockwise. Then the force is the same. The force does not change. Same magnitude and direction, but it only differs in the equivalent couple at about that point. So it is 1793 understood positive so counterclockwise or in vector form 206.9 i plus 202.6 j and c sub er is 1793k newton meter then the x intercept of the single force that is equivalent to the given system so the original system has this component so since the moment about o is counterclockwise the location of the resultant force, which is up to the right, should be right side of O. So if this is the system, then this is these are the components of force. Then the moment about O should be counterclockwise, indicated by the vertical component of R Y. So 202.6 times moment arm A or the x intercept is equated to the moment about O, which is 357.4. So solving for A, A is equal to 1.764 meters. So that's the solution to this problem. Okay, example 13.6. For the system of forces and couples shown below, determine the force couple system with a force acting at O and letter B at E negative 3 comma 4 then the x-intercept of the single force that is equivalent to the given system so this is almost related to the preceding problem so again we remove the 80 newton couple replace it with a couple so it is 80 times 5 plus 3 clockwise 3 and 5 so 8 640 newton meter so Rx equals negative 300 cosine of 20 plus 250 times 3 over 5. So Rx is 131.9 negative, so it is leftward. Ry is 300 sine of 20 then plus 250 times 4 over 5, so it is 302.6 newton upward. So we can now express the resultant force as a vector so next let's compute for the couple at O the moment at O so 300 cosine of 20 is clockwise so it's negative and the distance is 4 because of that then the vertical component is also negative 300, negative 300 sine of 20 the distance is 2 which is this the horizontal component is also clockwise, 250 times 3 over 5. The uh, distance from O is that 5 there, so times 5. The vertical component is, is counterclockwise, so plus 250 times 4 over 5 times moment arm 3. Then minus uh, 640, then minus 900 equal then combined C sub OR equals negative 3023 newton meter. Then for the 
force. So, C sub OR is 3,023 newton meter clockwise. Because this is negative, so we now represent the resultant. So, this is the resultant. It is up to the left. So, at O. Then, these are the components. And this is the resultant couple, which is clockwise. So, call this theta x. Theta x is 180 minus r tan of ry over rx. So 180 minus r tan of ry, which is 302.6 over rx 131.9. So theta x is equal to 113.6 degrees. Then the resultant, the magnitude squared of 131.9 square plus 302.6 square. So r is 330.1 newtons up to the left at theta x 113.6 and with the resultant couple of 3023 newton meter clockwise so that's the one possible answer the other way of expressing the answer is in vector form r is negative 131.9 i plus 302.6 j newtons and the resultant couple about the origin is negative 3023 k newton meter then how about at e so to make it simple, let's just present one solution. Let's let's use these results here. So the resultant force is the same, but the resultant couple would be 302.6 times 3, then minus 131.9 times 4, minus 3023. So the resultant couple at E. 302.6 times 3 minus 131.9 times 4, then the couple minus 3023 because all these are clockwise except this one which is counterclockwise. So the resultant couple at E is negative 2643 newton meter or 2643 newton meter clockwise. So R is 330.1 newtons up to the left at theta x 113.6 degrees. This is the resultant at E and the resultant couple at E is 2643 newton meter clockwise. Then the x intercept. So because it is clockwise, it should be on the left side of the origin. So in vector form, this is the answer. So either way, you can express the answer. So this is the position of the resultant component, components of the resultant. So the moment should be clockwise about O. So the x-intercept is negative. So 302.6 times the x-intercept equals 26 equals at O 3023. So, 302.6A equals 3023, the original for system at the origin. So, A is 9.99 meters left of the origin, or A is negative 9.99 meters. So, that's it for letter C. Okay, example 13.7. For the system of forces shown in the figure, determine the force couple system with the force acting at the base O of the structure. If the single equivalent force will be placed at the horizontal portion of the rigid body, what would be the coordinates of that point? So this is the system. And first, let's compute for the X and Y components of the Resultant force. So Rx is 30 times 3 over 5, then minus 15, then minus 20 sine 30. So it is 7, negative 7 kilonewtons, so 7 kilonewtons leftward. For the vertical component of reaction, all are downward, so let's treat downward positive. So it is 30 times 4 over 5 plus 20 cosine of 30. Then minus 12. So the, the result is negative. So we make it positive. Then we have to indicate the direction. 53.32 kilonewtons downward. So this is the force in vector form. 
negative 7i, then negative 53.32j quantity kilonewtons for the moment. Uh, magnitude of the resultant square root of Rx squared plus Ry squared, so it is 53.78 kilonewtons. Since it is down to the left, it is in the third quadrant, and the angle from the positive x-axis in counterclockwise direction is 180 plus arctan of absolute value of Ry over Rx. So this is the resultant, this is the angle theta x. So theta x is 180 degrees plus arctan of ry, absolute value of ry over rx. So it is 262.5 degrees. Then the moment at the origin is clockwise, counterclockwise positive, so negative 30 times 3 over 5, the horizontal is clockwise. It's clockwise. The moment arm is 1.8. Then we have counterclockwise 15 times 3.3. Then the horizontal component is counterclockwise about the origin, 20 sine 30 times 3.3, which is this. The vertical component is also counterclockwise about O, so 20 cosine 30 times 1.2 distance is about. So it is 70.88 kN counterclockwise, the resultant couple. So we now express the answer, single force is... 330.1 newton down to the left at theta x 262.5 degrees then the resultant couple is 70.88 kilonewton meter counterclockwise and the other way is in vector form negative 7i negative 53.32 j kilonewtons and the resultant couple is 70.88 k newton meter or about the z axis Then, if the single equivalent force will be placed on the horizontal portion, this is the horizontal portion, where y is 3.3, so we just compute for x. So that's the x component, this is the y component, and both these components will have counterclockwise moment about O. So 7 times 3.3 plus 53.32 times this moment arm, let's call that A, but it's the left, to the left of the origin. So that is supposed to be negative. 53.32 times A equals 70.88. So 7 times 3.3 plus 53.32 A equals 70.88. Solving for A, 0.8961. But because this is left of O, that coordinate, coordinate is negative. So therefore, the coordinates of the point is negative 0.8961 comma 3.3 meters. So that's it, the answer. For example, 13.8. A force system consists of the three forces and, and a fourth force F that shown. The equivalent force couple system is known to be R120I plus 240J newtons acting at O and the resultant couple is zero. So determine the force F and the y-coordinate of the point where its line of action intersects the y-axis. Each grid measures 5 cm by 5 cm. So the slope of this 200 newton force is 3 horizontal, 2 vertical, square root of 13 microtinos. So 3, 2, square root of 13. Take note that we have a missing force F here. Let's assume that all the components of the missing force are positive, rightward and upward. So summation forces Y is not 0, it is equal to 120. So Rx so initial forces x is 120, sorry. So Rx is 200 times 3 over square root of 13, rightward minus 360, then equate it to 120. Plus Fx rather, the missing force equals 120. So this is the x component of 200 newton, then minus 300 plus the missing x component of the missing force, then equals the x component of the resultant 120. Solving for fx, fx is 313.6. So since this is positive, it's rightward. Likewise, ry is summation forces y. 
So, 200 times 2 over square root of 13 plus 90 plus Fy is equal to 240. So, 200 times 2 over square root of 13 plus 90 plus Fy equals 240. Solving for Fy, 39.06 Newton. So, it's also positive. So, therefore, the missing force F is in vector form 330.6i plus 39.06j newton so that's the third force then for the y coordinate of this force of the line of action of this force as it intersects the y axis so let's compute the moment of the entire system about o first so these are the components 313.6 then that is B, the Y component of the force. F is not important because it passes through O. So the resultant couple is zero as stated in the problem. So for the three hundred sixty newton force, its moment about O is positive 360 times 20 centimeters because its grid is 5 cm. Then this horizontal component, the vertical component of 200 passes to O. So clockwise, so minus 200 times 3 over square root of 13. Uh, sorry, plus moon plus 90 times 2 counterclockwise then minus 200 times 3 over square root of 13 times 10 cm then because fx is rightward and this is clockwise so minus 313.6 times b equals 0 so this is the sum of the moments of the components these components of forces here then we equate it to zero because the resultant couple is zero about the origin as stated in the problem. So solving for BB is 20.52 centimeters. So the coordinates of the, uh, the, the force F therefore crosses the Y axis at, at 0, 20.52. Or the y coordinate of the force f is 20.52 centimeters. So let's have the example 13.9. Where should you place a single equivalent force on the x axis of the bent bar shown considering the applied forces and the couple? So given the figure. So we're looking for the distance of the single force from the origin which is equivalent to the original system so we will compute the moment of the original system about o then we equate that to the moment of the resultant single force about o also so first let's solve for rx rx is negative 30 cosine 30 or 30 cosine 30 leftward so 25.98 ry is 30 sine 30 minus 90 so it is negative so let's just make it positive but downward so let's compute the moment about oh, 300 cosine 30 times 0 0.6 sorry 30 cosine 30 times 0 0.6 then plus 30 sine 30 times 1.2 which is this then minus 90 times 0.6 then minus the couple 18 minus 18 clockwise so the resultant couple about the origin is negative so it means it's not counterclockwise it is clockwise so the resultant couple about the origin is 13.41 newton clockwise so therefore the position of the resultant should be somewhere here the single force the horizontal component passes to O, so only this vertical component, that's its moment. Its moment about O is 75 times A clockwise. Then it is, it is equated to 38.41 newton meter clockwise. So 75 A clockwise equals 
clockwise. So solving for A is 0.5121 meter. So that's the location, the y-intercept. So the sickle force, equivalent force, must be located at on the horizontal portion of the bar at 0.5121 meter right of 0. 0.0. Example 13.10. The bar AB, which is inclined at an angle theta to the horizontal, he is subjected to the four forces shown. Knowing that these forces have no resultant, so neither a force nor a couple, determine the value of theta. So no resultant, so let's solve this in two ways. So meaning Rx is zero, Ry is zero, and summation of moment about any point is zero. The resultant couple of any point is zero. So, solving for P, we can solve for P if we sum up forces horizontal zero. So, 75 minus P sine 25 equals zero. So, P is 177.5 newtons. Then, summation forces Y equals zero. We can solve for F. So, Ry is zero equals F minus 450 plus P, which is 177.5 cosine of 25 equals 0. So F is 289.1 so it's also F1. Then finally, summation of moment about B equals 0 is here. So 75 so let's have the distance. So it is couple at A, G, at B or anywhere equals 0. So 289.1, summation moment about B, clockwise positive, so times 6 cosine theta, this is 6 cosine theta, minus 75 times 6 sine theta, this is this distance is 6 sine theta, then minus 450 times, this is 3 cosine theta, then equals 0. So combine like terms, 384.6 cosine theta is 450 sine theta, so tangent theta is 384.6 over 450. So theta is 40.52 degrees. In another way, if we solve for theta directly, then we should sum up moment about a point of intersection between F and P, the unknowns, the other two unknowns. So this horizontal distance is equal to 6 cosine theta because this is also theta, so that is 6 cosine theta. Because this is 25 degrees, angle of P with the vertical, this is the line of action of P, so that's also 25 degrees. This is 6 sine theta, and this is 25 degrees. This is 3 cosine theta, this, the distance of 450, because this angle is also theta. 25 degrees, call this y. Then tangent of 25 degrees equals 6 cosine theta over y. So y is 12.87 cosine of theta. Then we sum up moment about point x. So couple x zero also. So we have 75 times quantity 6 sine theta plus y, where y is 12.87 cosine theta is equal to 450 times 3 cosine theta or minus 450 times 3 cosine theta equals 0. So combining like terms, transposing, so 450 sine theta equals 384.75 cosine theta. So there's a slight discrepancy but they are practically the same. So theta is 40.53 degrees. So that's the answer. So example 13.11, considering the rigid body is shown together with the forces and a couple, determine the distance from the x-axis where the resultant force crosses the left edge and the distance from the y-axis where the resultant force crosses the top edge of the figure. So 
first let's compute the x and y components of the resultant force so from the figure rx is 48 cosine 30 minus 30 times 3 over 5 so 23.57 positive so it's right toward ry is 48 sine of 30 min, uh, plus 30 times 4 over 5 then minus 8 so 40 newtons upward that's correct then moment about origin equals c sub or and let's consider counterclockwise positive so since the horizontal component of 48 is clockwise vertical is zero it passes through o. so negative 48 cosine of 30 times 90 centimeters then uh, the component horizontal component of 30 is counterclockwise so plus 30 times 3 over 5 times 65 65 is 90 minus 25 then the vertical component is also counterclockwise so plus 30 times 4 over 5 times 25 then we have minus 8 times 120 then plus 12 this is 12 newton meter be consistent with the units so we multiply 12 by 100 100 centimeter per meter so solving for the couple about the origin it is negative 1731 newton centimeter so it means the moment is clockwise 1731 newton centimeters clockwise so we transmit the resultant so let's draw another figure this is the line of action of the resultant force it is up to the right so the at this point at the left edge intersection of the left edge the vertical component passes through so it has no moment only the horizontal component has moment and it is clockwise as shown in the figure then at this point both the horizontal and vertical components of the force have moments about o the horizontal is clockwise the vertical is counterclockwise so we need to show the two components so for the for this point here, we will denote this distance d sub x and the distance of the resultant on the top edge where it crosses from the y-axis as d sub y. So for this situation here, we equate 23.57 times d sub x to 1731. So d sub x is equal to 73.44 centimeters. And for this position here, 23.57 is positive, 23.57 times 90 minus 40 times d sub y equals 1731. Solving for d sub y, d sub y is equal to 9.758 centimeters. So that's it. Then another way of solving the, these values here, because theta can be solved, the angle that the resultant makes with the horizontal, then this is also theta here. So tangent theta is this distance, uh, 90 minus d sub x over d sub y. Tangent theta is 40 over 23.57, ry over rx. And it is also equal to 90 minus d sub x, 73.44 over dy. So d sub y is equal to 9.758 centimeters. So that's it for this problem. Example 13.12. The combined moment of the two forces about point B is zero. Locate a point on the periphery of the circular plate where the moment is maximum. What is the sense and magnitude of this moment, maximum moment? So, if the combined moment of the two forces about point B is zero, that means the resultant passes through point B. So this is the given figure, this is point B. So the resultant passes through B. From the figure, if we sum up moment about B and equate it to zero, we can solve for this unknown force F. So summation moment about B is zero. So the horizontal component is 150 cosine 60 times moment arm, the radius, which is 120 cm. So 150 cosine 60 times the moment arm about B is 70. The vertical component is also counterclockwise plus 150 sine 60. Distance is radius 120. Then this is clockwise, so minus 
f times 60 plus 70 is 130 equals 0 because the moment about b is 0. So solving for f, 160.3 newton. So the resultant passes to b and its x component is 160.3 minus 150 cosine 60 is 85.3 is positive so it's rightward and ry is downward obviously from the figure 150 sine of 60 or 150 sine of 60 or 150 cosine of 30 it's the same 129.9 downward so let's transfer these components or let's solve for the angle it makes with the horizontal because we are sure that it passes to B because the moment about B is zero. So the component, the magnitude of the resultant is square root of Rx squared plus Ry squared 155.4. So if this is, these are the components and the resultant is the main diagonal of the rectangle. Let's extend the line of action of the rectangle. The maximum location of the point is on the periphery and that line joining them joining that point and the inter the extension of the line of action of the r of the resultant passes the center of the circle and that's the maximum so let's call this angle theta here let's call that point d this is theta this is 90 degrees minus theta, 90 degrees minus theta. So this is also theta here. And that's also theta there. Then call that xd and yd. So since the radius of the circle is known, 120, this distance is equal to, because this is 70, and this is the adjacent side, so 70 cosine of theta, this part. So tangent theta is Ry over Rx, 129.9 over Rx, 55.3. So theta is 56.71 degrees. So having known theta, we can now compute the maximum moment. Or we can compute xd and yd. From the figure, xd is 120 sine of 56.71. By the way, this is 70 cosine of theta. So xd is 120 sine of theta, sine of 56.71. So x sub d is 100.3 centimeters. Y sub d on the other hand is this part, 120 cosine of theta. And 120 times cosine of 56.71 degrees is 65.7. So that's y sub d. So the Coordinates of D, therefore, would be 100.3 comma 65.87 centimeters. The maximum moment from the figure is R times quantity 70 cosine theta plus 120, and it is counterclockwise. So maximum moment is 155 magnitude of R, 0 0.4, 155.4 times distance 70 cosine 56.71 plus 120. So M max is 200. 24,690 newton cm divided by 100 to make it newton meter. So 246.2 newton meter counterclockwise. So that's the answer to this problem. Example 13.13. .13. Determine the moment at A and D for three forces acting on the beam. Also replace the three forces with a force and couple system with the force acting at B. So this is the system. First, let's compute for the moment about A. So I think if it's the moment, the sense is clockwise. So let's make clockwise positive here. So 1 is 70 times 2.4. So Rx, by the way, is negative 250 cosine 60 and plus 390 times 5 over 13 because the slope is given. So Rx is 25 newtons rightward. Ry, all forces are downward, so let's make downward positive. So Ry is 750 plus 250 sine 60 plus 390 times 12 over 13. 250 sine 60 plus 390 times 12 over 13. 
So, R sub y is equal to 1326.5 newtons na R-Y. So, for moment about A, clockwise positive, 750 times 2.4. The horizontal component passes to A, so no moment. The vertical component is clockwise, so 250 sine 60 times 4.2. Then, this 390, the horizontal is counterclockwise, so minus 390 times 5 over 13 times 2015, then plus 390 times 12 over 13, the moment arm is 3.3 plus 2.4, 5.7. So minus the horizontal component, 390 times 5 over 13 times 0.15. So, moment about A is 4739 Nm clockwise. About D, so it is 70 times 2.4. The horizontal component has counterclockwise moment. So, the vertical component is clock, clockwise. So, 250 times sine 60 times 4.2. Then the horizontal component minus 250 cosine 60 times 0.15. Then this one has horizontal component passing to D, so not considered only the vertical. So it's plus, it's clockwise, so 390 times 12 over 13 times 5.7. So moment about D is 4742.6 newton meter. Then for the system to be replaced by by a force couple system with the force acting at D, so the force acting at D would have these components. But MB is equal to 750 times counterclockwise positive this time, 750 times 3.3, the horizontal component of 250 is 0, passes to the vertical is plus 250 sine 60 times 1.5. The vertical component of 390 passes to B. The horizontal has moment which is counterclockwise. So plus 390 times 5 over 13 times 0.15. So solving for MB, it is equal to 2822 Newton meter counterclockwise. So the first couple system. So RB is 25I minus 1326.5 quantity per minus 1326.5 J Newtons. Then MB is counterclockwise to 2822K Newton meter in vector form. Then in another way, these are the components <coughs> transferred at A. The moment at A was clockwise 4739 <coughs> so that if we transfer the force at B the same force will be transferred but the moment is now 1326.5 times 5.7 then minus 4739 so to a 2 to newton meter counterclockwise also if the force from B is transferred at B so the moment, the force will remain the same except for the moment. So the moment is now 1326.5 times 5.7 plus 25 times 0 0.15. So times 5.7 plus 25 times 0 0.15 then minus 4742.6. 2.6. So the answer is the same. So that's the technique. Example 13.14. The cross section of a dam is shown. The forces are generated due to due to weight of the dam and the water pressures. To so determine the resultant of the three forces and the location of its intersection with its base, TH, where T is the toe, it's the heel. And this is the figure. So first, let's solve for the x component of forces. So remember, this is 55 degrees given. So this is the angle between the 400 kN force, which is perpendicular to this space, 
and the vertical is also 55 degrees. So therefore, Rx is 400 sine 55 minus 880. So negative. So Rx is 552.3 kilonewtons leftward. Ry is downward. So let's consider downward positive. 400 cosine 55 plus 2 to 40. So R sub Y is equal to 2469.4 kilonewtons downward. Then let's compute for the moment of the system about T. Because that's also the moment of the resultant about T. So moment about T is four clockwise positive 400 times 3 plus 2 to 40 times 9 minus 3.2. Then this is counterclockwise, so minus 880 times 4. So moment about the toe is 10,672 kilonewton meter clockwise. So for intersection of the resultant with the base, so let's compute the magnitude first. R is 552.3 square plus 2469.4 square directed down to the left. So 2530 kilonewtons down to the left. The angle is Artan of or theta h artan of r y over r x. So with the horizontal, this is the angle with the horizontal down to the left and the horizontal. So theta h is 77.39 degrees. So you may also answer in that manner. Then the intersection moment t is 10672 newton kilonewton meter clockwise. So for the last part. So these are the components. The horizontal is not shown because it passes to T. So this is clockwise. So 2469.4 times distance X sub T or distance from T clockwise equals 10672 clockwise. So A. So 2469.4 moment of the component of the resultant RY about T is clockwise. 2469.4 so times a clockwise so it is equated to the clockwise moment of the system about the 6 10 6, 72. so solving for a 4.4322 meters so therefore the resultant crosses th at 4.322 meters right of t this is our last example 15th example, for the wind forces and vertical loads at the joints of a flat truss shown, determine the resultant force and locate its point of intersection with the bottom cords. The bottom cords are these members here, horizontal members. Since the inclined forces, these are wind loads, so they are perpendicular to this inclined surface, the top cord. So we can, by symmetry, we can replace them by a single force 48 acting at the center, kilonewton, so that it's easy for us to evaluate the moment as well as the components of the resultant force. So let's call this theta because the, these have equal lengths, so 9, this should be 4.5, so square root of 4.5 plus 6 square is 7.5 and the slope here is opposite is 3 then adjacent is 4 hypotenuse is 5 so we can reduce the uh, slope in that manner so this is also theta angle with the vertical and the normal and theta so slope is 3 opposite 4 horizontal 5 hypotenuse so as I said, these four, three forces, wind forces, are replaced by single force 48. Its moment arm about B is 7.5 and the sense of moment is counterclockwise. So Rx, therefore, is equal to 48 times 3 over 5 leftward. Because everything is leftward, except for this vertical load. So 28.8 kilonewtons leftward. For the vertical component, it is 48 times 4 over 5 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40. 48 times 4 over 5 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40, 128.4 kilonewton downwards. Then 
R is magnitude 28.8 square plus 128.4 square. So the magnitude is 131.6 kilonewtons directed down to the left at an angle with horizontal of R tan of Ry over Rx. So 77.36 down degrees down to the left. So it's like that. Then the moment about B first. So moment about B is 48 times 7.5 counterclockwise plus 40 times 6 plus 30 times 12 plus 20 times 18. So moment about B is counterclockwise, 13.20 kilonewton meter counterclockwise. Then for the intersection with the bottom cord, so let's transfer, assuming this is now the components of the resultant, the horizontal passes to B, so it's only the vertical which is important. This is 128.4 kilonewtons, then the moment about B is also counterclockwise. So 128.4 times X sub B, Counterclockwise equals 1320. So X sub B is 10.28 meters. So this is the lecture. This is lecture 13. It's very lengthy because we have 15 problems. I hope that these 15 problems are more than enough for you to to master statics and I hope that it will help, these problems will help you in your preparations in your statics class. So, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.